Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about taking a ordinary lens order with a distance power and an ad, and converting that to an intermediate single vision pair of glasses. Last time we got together, we talked about creating a single vision nearer pair. This time we're gonna talk about creating a single vision intermediate. The formula, if you will, or the rule, is you add your sphere power and half of your ad power to create an intermediate power lens. The normal range for ad powers run from one to three, plus one to plus three, in quarter diopter steps. If I'm taking half of one 150, two, 250, or three, well, that's great, because as you'll see, as you take your calculator and divide those by two, you end up at a nice quarter diopter step, which is what we're familiar with. It's not so great when you take 125, 175, 225, or 275, because then when you divide it by two, you end up at an eighth diopter step or kind of stuck in no man's land. You're going to have to make the decision whether you go up or down, more plus, more minus. There are no rules to doing that. Myself, we were taught, and I like, to over minus and under plus. I am sure that if you toss this as a poll on social media, that half of the opticians would feel very, very strongly in the opposite way, and the other half would say that this is correct, such as the world today. I like this, and there's a reason I like that. Sometimes I think that the single most important thing that any optician grasps is the plus F relationship. The higher the plus, the shorter the focal length of that lens. Uh, I cover that in great detail on the website in the eye and lens design. And I, I just think it is so important that you grasp that concept. So much troubleshooting and dispensing is, it all boils down to that. That's why I like to do it this way. With all of that said, don't worry and sleep well tonight. Uh, if you go one direction or the other, no one is going to die. Let's look at this example, extraordinarily realistic. Minus 250, minus 75 at 135 in my right. In my left, I've got a minus 175, minus one at 137. This person just turned 46 years old getting their first pair of glasses with an ad power. However, they tell you when they get to the dispensary that they would love to have an intermediate pair for the computer because they spend all day there. What do we need for intermediate? We need half of our ad power. Our ad is one, one divided by two gives us a plus 50 added to our spherical power. What is that? I've got a 250 plus 50. That gives me a minus two. And I've got a 175 plus 50. It's a minus 125. What am I going to make this person for an intermediate pair of classes? Right, minus two, minus 75 at 135. Left minus 125, minus one at 137. Let's work through this example. Again, a very, very ordinary prescription, certainly something that you would see every single day in your working life as an optician. Person's a little bit older, their ad power is now up to a 225. They come to you and they say that they would like an intermediate pair of glasses. They sit at a computer all day and they want a pair that they can just put on and comfortably sit at their computer. What is our rule? For an intermediate, we take half of our ad power, which is 225. When we divide that by two, we end up at 1.125, which is an eighth diopter step, not what we're used to seeing. So you need to decide which you're going to send into the lab, or more important, what you're actually gonna go back and pull from stock lenses. If I take away 125, I end up at one. If I add 125, I end up at a plus 125. My rule, over minus, under plus, I would go with a plus one. Also kind of makes sense that I don't want that focal length to shorten. I want it at that relaxed intermediate point. So I'm gonna choose a plus one. 
There are exceptions to the eighth diopter step rules. Trial lenses come in this, and there are some people, especially target shooters, pistol target shooting people, uh, the good ones, um, will go and have refraction done to the eighth diopter step. And you can certainly send that into a lab, and you can certainly check that in the lens meter. But of course, your stock single vision lens, your bread and butter, your money makers, those are gonna be coming in quarter diopter steps. If I take my 275 sphere and I add it one, I end up at minus 175. If I take my minus 250 and I add my one that I chose, I end up at minus 150. This would be the intermediate prescription I'd fill for this person and clearly easily would have those in the back in my stock single vision drawers with some beautiful AR and I would fill them, make them a beautiful pair of glasses and make some money. One more example, very ordinary lens powers. However, this time we gave the person a plus prescription. We gave them an ad of a plus 175, so they're right there kind of in the middle between that one and the three. If I'm looking for an intermediate power, I'm taking half of my ad, 175 divided by two, leaves me at 0 0.875, kind of in no man's land again. I need to decide whether I'm gonna go up or go down. I would choose my plus 0.75 because that follows my favorite rule, which is under plus and over minus. If I sat down, which of course I would, and have a nice long conversation with this person, addressed about past glasses, what they use them for, if they've had any special needs, if they've had problems before, good dispensing talk, you know, I may decide to go with a plus one. Uh, it's really your decision to make as an optician. But I went with a plus 75. I took my sphere of two, added my 75, and a bit plus 275. My 225 plus 75, I end up at three. This is my intermediate prescription for this lens power, distance lens power with an add of plus 175. It's clearly something I would stock. That would be just the cutoff for a stock lens in the plus range in something like poly, I would have these on hand and that person would walk out the door with a complete pair of intermediate glasses 25 minutes later. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the like button. If you would like, leave me a comment. Make absolutely sure that all of the lenses that you use come from Laramie K and I will see you again next week.